Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across a red X icon over the volume icon on your Windows 10 computer. So other than just being a normal X, if you have a red X cross across the volume icon, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve that without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to go ahead and start by opening up the Start menu type in services best result should come back with services go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator you probably don't really have to run it as administrator but I just happen to do so you don't have to though but we're gonna go ahead and locate the Windows audio service so you want to scroll down double click on the Windows audio service and where's the service status running? You want to go ahead and stop it. Select yes. And then you want to start up the service again. Select the start button. And now that you're done with that, you can just select apply and OK to save and close out of there. You want to do the same thing as well with the remote procedure call service as well as the Windows Audio Endpoint Builder. So let's just go right to the Windows Audio Endpoint Builder because we're already here. And go ahead and double click on that set serve type to automatic and again if service status is running you want to stop it and then you are going to start it up and then again apply and OK and now we're going to scroll up to the remote procedure call service go ahead and double click on that Again, if it's disabled, you just want to go ahead and enable it, and it might already be grayed out here, and more than likely it would already be set to automatic and running, which is fine. We don't actually have to change anything here anyway, so we're good. Close it here, restart your computer, and see if that has resolved the problem. Another thing you can try would be to open up the start menu, type in troubleshoot. Best result should go back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and left click on that. You want to scroll down underneath the troubleshooting panel on the right side and select additional troubleshooters. And you want to locate the playing audio troubleshooter near the top. Find and fix problems with playing sound. And go ahead and left click on run the troubleshooter. Give it a moment here. Okay, so it might not be running. You can see it says fixed. At this point, close out of here, restart your computer, and hopefully that should have been able to resolve the problem. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.